Okay, people, let's do question number three. So, you are given random variable T and so you must use huruf T. Tolonglah guna T instead of X besar. Ha, sebab kita diminta untuk guna huruf random variable T besar. Jadi, tepat, jadi ikutlah kena ikut soalan. Guna huruf T, dia beri pada kita T, gunalah T. Guna S, kalau diberi pada kita S, gunalah S. So, in this case, fokus ingat kita guna tengah mencari T ya. Tengah nak fokus random variable T. Yeah, this is what they say here. A discrete random variable with the function, probability function of this. Untuk untuk A, untuk probability A, uh, nilai T ni adalah 0.1. Untuk nilai A tambah B, nilai T ni adalah 2. Manakala untuk B, nilai T ni adalah 3 dan 4. So, lain-lain uh, nilai T representing lain nombor. Okay, lain probability ni. Alright. So, in this case, baca soalan given that you have this. This is very important info here. You have this probability 5 over 9. Find the values of A and B. So, nak mencari value of A dan B bermaksud kita ada dua unknown dekat sini. Jadi, kalau kita ada dua unknown, bermaksud let me write it down. When we have two unknowns here, it means we will have two equations. Equation yang macam mana? It is actually we must have, we must do simultaneous equation. Dengan itu, barulah kita dapat Dua unknowns It is unknowns Dua unknowns tersebut Kalau ada tiga unknowns bermaksud Akan ada tiga equation And so on So now our first equation is actually coming from What you have here Iaitu PT is less than or equals to 2 And then this is Probabilitinya adalah 5 per 9 So Nak tak nak, kita hanya perlu listkan sahaja yang yang random variable-nya less than or equal to 2. Less than or equal to 2. 2 termasuk. Jadi, start from 0. And then, start and then continue with 1. And then, continue again with 2. Disebabkan 2 termasuk. This, the symbol here, the symbol of equal here, showing that 2 is included also. Okay, and so start dengan kosong satu dan dua because because this that is what given to us start dari kosong tak ada kosong ni tak ada lah tapi soalan ni ada kosong so you we must use it and then equal it to its probability. Okay, now now probability of t probability of t equal to zero adalah menuju kepada kosong dekat sini t nya kosong. Dan dia akan probabilitinya nilai probabilitinya adalah A. So, you letaklah A di sini. And then, tambahkan dengan um, um, probability seterusnya yang nilainya satu. Yang nilainya satu adalah refer juga kepada probability of A. Letaklah A. Tambahkan dengan um, probability yang di mana T-nya adalah dua. T-nya adalah nilai dua. So, probabilitinya adalah A tambah B. So, you letaklah A tambah B. And then, equal it to the 5 over 9. Okay. And then, you sum it together. You will get 3A plus B is equals to 5 over 9. Which, this will give us the first equation of simultaneous. So, first equation done. This is what you call as first info. Second info is actually uh, your own intelligence, your own goodness, uh, your own smart. Do you remember what does it mean by discrete? Uh, discrete kat sini menunjukkan uh, ber menunjukkan bahawa kita faham total summation of probability of x. Uh, dia guna, jangan guna x sebab dia guna huruf t kan. So, kita kena fokus pada t which is equals to the small t, tutup bracket and we will have 1 equal to 1. Sebab total probability is equal to 1. That's a fact untuk probability. Okay. So now um, apa yang kita perlu buat sekarang adalah tinggal listkan sahaja probability of t is equal to 0 probability of t random variable t is equal to 1 plus equal to 2 plus equal to 3 and plus equal to 4. Sebab kita berhenti sehingga 4. Itu itu adalah yang diberi pada kita dalam soalan. So, kita sekarang ni tengah 
follow soalan sahaja and make sure you make it equal to 1 remember that so now our job is to carefully find t is equals to 0 means a t is equals to 1 means also a t is equals to 2 is a plus b t is equals to 3 referring b and also b for t is equals to 4 and then don't forget to sum it together plus it together and make sure you equal it to 1 okay equal it to 1 total probability 1 you plus plus the a together and you will get 3a plus 3b equals to 1 and this is gonna give you the second equation here you go our answer for a is 1 over 9 whereas b is 2 over 9 well done if you have found it okay so now we must not stop there the question is asking hands yeah there you go baca sambung balik baca hand sketch the probability distribution function above before we sketch we write down the probability dahulu dalam bentuk yang sepatutnya here is our sketching sketch graph your graph you must be good in drawing graph okay di mana graph tersebut sangat simple tidak susah langsung pun let me let me label this first okay jangan lupa kita tengah guna huruf t kecil dan t besar kat sini refer kepada probability lah bukan setakat semata-mata t besar saja tapi probability sebab this will be representing your y your y exists okay so this is let me let me um, use different um, maybe i don't have to highlight it. okay yang pentingnya sekarang ni you tahu nilai t nilai t kamu adalah adalah kosong nilai t kamu adalah kosong and then satu and then dua and then tiga dan empat so now so now you have one over nine let me sketch this thing. 1 over 9. And you have you have 2 over 9. Ikut ya. 2 over 9 is purple. 2 over 9. And then the green one, the blue one is 3 over 9. So, so you label dulu. Paksi X, paksi Y. Letakkan nilai masing-masing. And then here is where you start to sketch it. Okay, I'm going to use a much more bigger. bigger. So this, oops, too big. Too big. So here is where our first, our first line untuk t kosong. Mana kalau untuk t satu di situ juga, di situ juga dia berada di sini juga. Okay, saya ingat. Okay, mana kalau t equals to two, t is equals to two adalah tiga per sembilan. So label kan? Oh, maybe I should kembang lagi. There you go. Dan untuk 3 dan 4 adalah 2 per 9. 2 per 9 di setengah-tengah. 2 per 9 di sini dan 2 per 9 di situ. Dan that's how you do it. Simple right? Untuk discrete random variable is very easy.